Today, I want to talk about a way you can contribute to uh, GitHub uh, repositories without having to know any code. And it's really important and also really easy to do. It's by contributing with documentation, okay? Um, documentation is key. It will help people understand what the project does, how does it do it, and what the output tells them. And the way you can do that is by going to the wiki. There you will find either nothing, or in this case, a little bit of a template of how the wiki looks, and, and we'll discuss how to add to it. Uh, the, the first question is, why would you want to participate? Well, if you're in the community and you're part of the community, we need your help. We need you to be able to use your skills. If you have uh, teaching skills, let's, let's put them into practice. Uh, there's no better way of learning uh, and really retaining that by teaching and showing others how to do things. Uh, secondly, it's a good way of showcasing your writing skills, which is uh, a skill that is highly needed and in, in the public sphere seems to be really underrated. But um, when folks in the industry want to really uh, see what you're about, they want to be able to determine that, that you can write and you can express yourself clearly. And participating in an, in an open source project and helping the community is one way of doing so. So how do we go about uh, working on a wiki for a GitHub project? First of all, it depends on what the settings of the project are. Certain, certain GitHub projects will only let uh, verified contributors uh, change or edit the wiki, right? Um, another setting would be anybody that has a GitHub account can work on the wiki. So the way I have it set up uh, for now, to see how, how that works, if people want to contribute, is that you just need a GitHub account, open one, and then go to the iLeap repository, github.com slash abrignoni slash iLeap, and go to the wiki here on the top, slash wiki, and we get there. When you get there, you will be able to edit um, the information here or add to it. Let's uh, use the Bluetooth artifact for example. We want to add, as you can see, there's nothing here. So how do we go about it? Well, first of all, we need to actually understand the program. So what, uh, what you should do is download the program and, and run it. And let me show you that quickly. I'm going to run the script. And when you run the script, you'll be able to see here pretty quickly on the left side all the different artifacts, category artifacts, that the scripts support iOS screens, iOS mail, different locations, all sorts of good stuff. One of those is Bluetooth, and you can see them here and here. Oh, no, calendar, sorry, here and here. Bluetooth pair and Bluetooth other. And if you don't have an, a test image or an image that you can parse, right, an iOS image, you can use, and let me close this out, you can select one of the fantastic images Josh Higman has done for the community. You can uh, Google Josh Higman iOS test images and select the first link or go to the binary blog and locate those iOS 13 images, parse them and get uh, with the tool with iLeap and get those results. So you can start working on the wiki. I'm going to show you here uh, the section for Bluetooth that we'll be working on. As you can see, it's Bluetooth other paired. And some of the things you can show is, okay, so where's the name of the database? different fields, what does this data mean, and, and put that on the, uh, on the wiki. So when you go to the wiki, you're going to hit edit here on the top right, and it will show you all the, uh, you know, the kind of editor to add the information. So I'm going to do, do that, uh, some of that now. As you can see here, I put the artifact name, database location and name, explanation, a screenshot of the of the of the artifact and all the explanations. So let's just save that page. And here it is. Look how nice. Artifact, Bluetooth other, and this comes from looking at the output from the screen. Database location and name. Here's the uh, information. Also comes from looking at the output from the tool and what the artifact does, the explanation. That might require, if you're not familiar with it, it might require you to do some online research and, uh, and figure out where's this, uh, the output's coming from and, and what does it mean, okay? To that end, it's really important that you add online references. So uh, the community can then have something to uh, reference further if, if they need to dig 
deeper into the artifact as they understand what the tool does. And that's pretty much it. The idea, again, is to be able to build the, uh, the repository, the wiki, as a central uh, source of information for, for every artifact in the tool and artifacts to come. Lastly, I want to show you uh, um, a way of adding images because it might not be um, really clear by using the edit button. So if you use the edit and hit here the images uh, icon, it will ask you to provide a URL for the image you want to show on the wiki. And uh, that's something that I don't like doing. So the way I do it is, it's a little bit hackish, but it works. <laughs> I go to the issue section for this repository and then I hit new issue but I never really really go through and open a new issue it has a little bit of a memory here for what I did last what I do is I take the image that I'm interested in I'm gonna drop it here in the in the issues that I'm supposedly opening and it provides it uploads it and provides me a link so I go take this link and I copy it, but I never opened the. I don't never really opened the issue. You can actually, for all intents and purposes, you just close it, not never finish it. And then you're gonna go to the uh, to the. Uh, oh, I hit the call history. I should hit Bluetooth. Uh, you go to the uh, entry that you're working on or developing, and you literally just paste that link there, and then it will show on on your. Uh, on your output here when it's when it's done okay and that's it add artifacts add those explanations help the community centralize that knowledge um, it will be good for you and it will be good for everybody else uh, thank you so much